think I've missed some footage of uh, of the Avenger holster here and uh, of the pancake holster. <laughs> but I did, I caught the mistake soon enough that uh, I'm just getting ready to, it's still damp, not very, but a little bit. And uh, I'm just, uh, I had to use a real gun to form this because my mold gun is, or my blue gun is just not right for the task apparently. So um, before I take it out, I just like to kind of go over some of this while it's a little damp. And this is kind of burnishing and that's okay. I don't mind that. You won't know it. You won't notice it once it's uh, the finish put on it. So I just kind of like to go around some of the areas and uh, just kind of get some of the some of the little forming in. Um, I think I said before I just used this as an old plastic coat hanger that broke one day and I just uh, I rounded off the end and that's what I used to create my sight channel so it works out pretty well. The back here I did form around the uh, what you call it <laughs> the bottom, it's the bottom part of the slide is what's right there and I just kinda you know I haven't pulled the gun out yet the gun is in safe condition um, I know I safety checked it and stuff in another video but it has been safety checked time and time again before I formed it I had one incident in one other video where I was uh, oh gosh that was years and years ago already I forgot to safety check a 22 and when I went to take it apart it was still loaded I had been shooting rabbits earlier that day because when I lived on the farm we had a horrible rabbit problem. Um, we had a wood pile in the back and my god, rabbits breed like bunnies. <laughs> Imagine that. So anyway, um, I put my belt blank in the Avenger holsters. They go like this. I put the belt blank in there to keep the uh, slots lined up. The uh, Avenger holsters don't sit at too much of a cant. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the gun out. Well, oh, I'm going to leave the gun in. I'm going to pull the belt, my belt blank out. This is just, I put a rounded end on one end and a English point on the other just because I could. Um, but it leaves, I'll show it to you in a little bit. <laughs> but I want to get in here and do a little more forming around this trigger guard. Because I don't have a retention strap on these. So the around the trigger guard is where most of my retention is. pretty good right there. So we'll pull it out. And now we'll remove the gun from the bag. And I have to uh, get some new baggies because my gun got a little damp. Magazine is empty. Nothing in the chamber. Magazine is out. Make sure we're safe. I have to clean my gun here. Get her all oiled up again. So, we're safe. I'm going to put the slide forward. And I'm going to engage the safety. Um, I like to check my holsters with the gun in the cocked and locked position. That is generally how a 1911 is carried. And the holster, as you can see, came out pretty nice. It does need finish. Um, the burnish.
finish is going to have to be, you know, reburnished again. I had everything looking really nice, but when you go through the forming process, of course, everything gets wet, the holster gets bent around, all this other stuff. So it does have to be reformed or reburnished. And I know that's an issue, so we plan for it. Now, just to make sure that everything fits, I know it's going to be stiff. It's going to be a little stiff because that's the way they are. And the fit is absolutely perfect. I could not ask for it to be any better. Um, my stiffener through the forming on this part got a little mushed out here. And there's not much that I can do about it. I will try my bestest to kind of bring that back a little bit. Um, it's, it's one of those things that just kind of happens. And that's where the kind of pointier side of this will help a little bit to kind of bring that back up. say that it's going to get back to perfect. But it won't be bad. This is one of those places where the way this tool is down here, I can pretty much run it right along the holster and fix that. I probably should have showed that to you better. When it was smushed down a little there. But I didn't. I apologize for that. finish drying and uh, then I'll finish burnishing and uh, put some finish on it so I gotta give it another day or so to dry a little more difficult to get in here and you know get them the way I like them this is why we wait until the end to do our finished burnishing Avenger holsters, I, I've made 
quite a few changes from what my old design was to what this one is. Um, that's why I'm sending one out to get tested. Um, I've changed the way these, this belt loop is and how this stiffener works. Um, and basically just how the distance here, excuse me, <laughs> this distance from the trigger guard to this belt slot and kind of how everything is formed. I changed how this uh, uh, sweat shield is. So I've changed enough about it that I'm not comfortable just uh, sending one out. I've changed the cant. I used to have a pretty vertical cant and then I went to a more more of the FBI style cant, went to 15 degrees, which I didn't care for, um, especially with an Avenger holster. I just don't like them with the Avenger style. So I went back to a more of a, not quite a vertical, a little bit of a cant. Um, so I've made enough changes that I'm not comfortable just selling them yet. But we'll see. We'll see how it's received. It is another YouTuber that's getting it. I think I said that it was uh, I'm sending it out to Barnow. And uh, we'll see how he likes it. Did the same with my inside the waistband. Small inside the waistband holsters too. There's a video coming on that by the way. So, we'll see how those go. Um, that one, I kind of made a little bit of a special one for Farnall on that one. Just because I know he didn't have a holster for his Hellcat, so I thought I'd make him one for it. Now this, all this needs now is some burnishing. Um, I can't do a lot of burnishing around this belt slot, but we can get a little bit. Just some touch up around there. So I'm going to go ahead and get my touch up done, uh, clean all this up, and then we'll be ready to put the final finish on it as soon as the burnishing is done. I'll have to probably, oh, I'll probably do one burnish now and I'll probably do a sanding with some 320 and then burnish again. So we'll have a couple of burnishes yet going on. But that's okay. It's all part of the job. So I'm going to get it burnished. I'm just going to use um, the forming actually went really well. I'm sorry I didn't get that on, on video. Um, I don't know what happened to the to the video on it, but maybe this one I forgot to even do video on. I do that sometimes. I get going and just forget. But that's where we're at at this point. I'm going to do my burnish and we'll be back. <laughs> 